All right, so you know what? I am gonna I am gonna down the gamma a tiny bit. Hold on, because now I think the gamma might be a little out of control. I think we went a little overboard there. We'll do one gamma up from the standard. There we go. That's a little better, I think, right? So typical. Looks like it's motion blur. Do motion blur. A little graphical effect there, which is interesting. Can't run right now. I can only walk. The Tybalt and Cambert Milli Millinery. Sheesh. Lots of blimps. Or I don't know if they called them Zeppelins or blimps back then. Maybe they called them Dirigibles. This guy has a marvelous mustache, but I can't see it. They won't let me actually take a look at the mustache. Look. Oh, wait, there we go. That is one hell of a mustache. Look at these. It curly ends. I wish I could grow a thick, thick mustache like that. My lip isn't thick or, uh... The area between my nose and my lip isn't thick enough to have a nice giant mustache. Okay. Okay. What the hell? We're in the attic. Oh, horsey! Oh, I missed you, horsey. I haven't seen you in years. Surprise! It's Annabelle! <laughs> Annabelle's in the attic. I'll have sex with you later. Uh, <laughs> it's a reference to scary... What was that scary movie? Haunted House 2. Meet with Egrain? What the kind of name is Egrain? Not a very attractive one. Click and hold R3 to view your current objective. Or directive. Meet with Egrain. <laughs> Are you Egrain? Morning. That's right, you polished that banister. That's your punishment. Your punishment for not fulfilling all my sexual fantasies. Oh, wait, that's later in the game. That's right, this is a flashback, so, uh, that hasn't happened yet. I can't move any faster. He moves slow as shit. Come on, man. Did you have any kind of sense of urgency? You can't move faster than this? No, you can't. <laughs> Alright, well, there's something over here. What is this? Let's look. Mysterious disappearances in Whitechapel. The deputy coroner has opened an inquiry in respect to the death of the woman found in Whitechapel last Tuesday. Inst inst instant? With four stab wounds in her abdomen and bruising on her throat. Okay. Criminal investigation. The theory of the woman is one of the local ladybirds in the parlance of the streets, likely having lived in a common legend house. She was basically a hooker. Huh. Prostitute. Killed, and now they're trying to find out, you know, who killed her. And there's this reference to another woman, poor Susanna Peters. So apparently there's a string of, of uh, females who've been murdered recently. Okay. Let's head downstairs. <clears throat> Hideous. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> we always keep paintings of hideous women not hanging on the walls, but leaning against the, the, the floor. It's the best place to put them. What's this? What the? Use a left... Yeah, here we go. Photo of a bunch of women and men. Look at the reverse. G. Wyndham Family. 20th of July, 1886. So it's the Wyndham Family. Good day, sir. That's right. You sweep up. You keep the sweeping. By the way, I'm gonna hang some of the art up on the walls instead of having it on the floor. I'm just saying. Look at that. Every piece of art. This one's on the floor, too. What are they? You don't want to put holes in the wall or something? <laughs> we don't want uh, our hallways full of holes. Put that art right there in the toilet. <laughs> That's where it belongs. What's this guy doing? Oh, it's the elevator. He's working on the elevator. Okay. Bags all over the floor. What's that about? This, is like, this looks like a hotel. What was that? Something shiny. <clears throat> a phonograph cylinder. Wax cylinders contain a recorded audio message. Press options and select archive to hear it. It befell in the days of Uther Pendragon when he was king of all. Oh, it doesn't keep playing? Ah, oh, I have to sit here and hear it. It all right. befell in the days of Uther Pendragon when he was king of all England, and so reigned, 
that there was a mighty duke in Cornwall that held war against him long time. And the duke was called the Duke of Tintagel. And so by means, King Uther sent for this duke, charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady and a passing wise, and her name was called Igraine. Igraine? So when the duke and it's his a wife chick. Would come unto the king, by the means of great lords, they were accorded both. The king liked and loved this lady well, and he made them great cheer out of measure, and desired to have lain by her. I desire to have lain. But she was a passing good woman, and would not assent unto the king. Oh, she was the prude. And then she told the duke her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for that I should be dishonored. Wherefore, husband, I counsel you, that we depart from hence suddenly, that we may ride all night unto our own castle. Ah, yes. And then, Igraine giveth the king muchest blue balleth. <laughs> and the king disproved. Alright, let's go into this room. That was so, like, not worth listening to, seriously. I don't even know what, that, what the significance of that was. I'm on my way down to the street. Acknowledge. Or radio. Did they even have radios back then? In 1886, they had radios? I guess so. What the shit? <laughs> I'll kick the tins around! Oh, yes! Pots and pans! Maybe they should be in a fucking cupboard, not on the floor! I'll kick that shit! Oh, look, it's a chamber pot full of piss and shit. Delightful. The Order 1886. Yes. There's the pornography. <laughs> kick this elephant! Kick it! Oh, they won't let me. Can't run, they don't let you. I'm trying, it doesn't do anything. Traverse! Ho ho! Oh! Broke both legs. Game over. <laughs> okay. Uh. Walking about town. Man about town, are ya? <laughs> Let's go find the ladybirds. That's where I'm going. Hopefully, none of them look like uh, Helena Bottom Carter. That would be quite unfortunate. Want to see your top list? Go watch, uh, what's the name of the movie? The one with the soap. Oh, Fight Club. Yeah, she's topless in that one. She's still ugly, though. And anyway. <laughs> what am I talking about? Galahad, the gray, <laughs> and he went from the rear. Ooh, lightning effect. I still can't run. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. What's this? Did you say so? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities, The Golden Thread. The Patty Trio presents The Luminous City, a marvelous play, and The Ring of Nibelung. So it's basically a, a playbill. It's like an advertisement for a local theater. Nothing on it. It's a piece of shit. But I take that for it. What's the point of that? There's nothing. <laughs> Who cares about that? <laughs> All right, what's over here? Nothing. <laughs> Junk. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> what's this guy doing? He's a peeper. What's this this guy doing? What are you doing? What is this? This morning, black Ri black ribbon beans? Black ribbies? What the flip does that say? Back bacon, fried bread, it's a menu. Then send a constable there. I cannot do that, sir. Why not? Can you always tell me this? They're chit chatting about some bullshit. Who's this guy? Let's surprise him. Let's grab his ass. Surprise him. Whoa! Hello! Whoa! 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 Look at his face! Oh my god, this guy's creepy. Look at his eyes! He's like wired out. Look, what's he looking at? What are you looking at? What's over here? Nothing there. There's horses. I guess he's a horse aficionado. He likes to stare at horses. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> it's over here. It's this guy. 
You got exhausted. Look how exhausted he is. Seems to have trouble breathing. <laughs> yes, Constable. That is clearly the case. By the way, are there no subtitles? What's going on? I guess there's no subtitles for this dialogue. There was before, now there's not. Huh. This man does not I still can't run, run, by the way. I still gotta walk this slow. I'm seeing plenty of people struggle with this condition. Asthma. Seeing as asthma. And they didn't have inhalers back then. What is this? Unfortunately, Mom, old medical okay. What's the point of looking at this? Why is this even here? It's someone's whiskey bottle or some shit. A fla what do they call this? A flask? Why did I care about that? <laughs> why is that there? No, really. Why is that in the game? Why do I need to touch that? It makes it look like it's something important. You touch it, nothing there. <laughs> I do like the uh, environments. Oh. See that you cordon off the entire district and do it quietly. That's right. How did you arrive here so quickly? Quickly? It took me like an hour. <laughs> Skilled. <enough. laughs> I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. I'm not cursed to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Oh. Gee, would you ever? <laughs> so what are we doing? I don't even know what we're doing. Bedlamites running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Hmm. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you. He was the best. In his day. Oh! You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Oh! -ho! A friendly rivalry, huh? Come in. Acknowledge so they locked off the area for them to come take care of it. Spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Gray. Let's move. Alright, I guess we're, we got a mark and we're, we're going to intercept and find out what's going on with someone. Alright, let's see what's going on.